Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. And if you get the chance and you feel so inclined, please hit that subscribe button below the video there and the bell icon. What it'll do is it'll notify you when I release new videos. It'll also um, help me get seen by other people, allegedly. And if I go live or release special unboxing videos like I do from time to time, uh, you'll be notified of that as well. So the unboxing or unbagging knife is going to be the Ohio Riverjack Sheep's Foot. And this is a knife that I wanted to bring into the channel. It's not my normal jam, but I wanted to be able to share it with you guys because I'd heard good things about it. So I figured we would check it out together. And this is a Migaron Knives. Guys, if you spent any time with the channel, you might or you might not have seen my videos. I know I've got a full review launching in the next couple of days. I've got them coming back to back on the Migaron AM8, the AM8 brand from Migaron. I've got the Flix and I've got the Gladiator. They're their higher end knives. But this is the Migaron, I will say, I will dare call it the budget line. I mean, this knife, I picked up from Amazon for, I want to say, $57. So to me, that's a budget knife. It's much less than I would normally, um, you know, invest in a knife. But again, I'd seen an unboxing and a couple of my, what I considered trusted brothers, Lefty EDC and Mr. Jared Neves, had really good impressions of this knife. And the knife that I'm talking about whoops is the Migaron hmm Moichet can y'all see that there well anyways guys it's a small Migaron medium sized Migaron I'm pretty stoked to check it out We'll talk about it together, and I'll put the title or the name of it in the description. So, the first thing you notice about this little knife is it's got the flipper hole deployment. That's a win for me. It has got nice G10 scales. They feel pretty textury. I don't know if you guys can see that texture, but they're pretty textury. Um, stone wash blade. Titanium pocket clip which was kind of a, a, a nice surprise. Let's see. You can see the blade down there, but I'm not getting anywhere close to it. You've got full steel liners. The G10 sits on top of the, the steel liner, so it's a very um, substantial knife. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. It just has a little weight to it. So, um... You know, when I look at, for example, the Ohio River Jack, it's a much lighter knife, which is probably expected. But let's open it. And the things I've heard about this knife, action, materials, price point, blade geometry, and as I just sit here and kind of suck it in, I can tell you this, what I was saying earlier about the AMA uh, Flix and the Gladiator, both of those knives were under 200. Um, I think one of them might have been just a sconch over 200. I think the Flix might have been a little bit more. But uh, they're both great knives. I love them. There'll be videos coming up this week. What I'll do is I'll live with this Migaron. The Moichet. I'm going to call it the Moichet until I actually put the name in there. And it's not called the Moichet, guys. But uh, this knife is... I'm really, really, really digging it right now. No side to side. No lock rock. 
I love the pear-shaped deployment hole. That's something I kind of look for in flipper knives because you can get it towards the top. You can get a lot of build-up pressure towards the bottom, which is where I'm 99% of the time going to go. You can use the top part for thumb flicks, which you guys know I'm not a thumb flicker. I hate thumb flicks. I usually fail them. However, whether I hit it hard, soft, I failed at that time. Damn it. But anyway, I would never thumb flick this knife. I would middle finger flip it. And I can tell you it is a joy to middle finger flip. I can also tell you that this lock bar access is done very, very well. You'll notice, um, mm, I've got a flashlight up here somewhere. If you can see those steel liners down in there, and you can see the way that the lock bar is chamfered right here on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if it really matters. But you can also see that it's taken down a little bit here, so you've got great access to pass through to that lock bar. Nice stop pin. Looks like you've got a ceramic detent ball. Ooh, hear that suck that detent down? I mean, the detent's by no means super strong, but I don't think I'm gonna shake this knife out. It's got serious pop. The ergos, whether I hold it back here or up where this really nice finger choil is, are banging. I mean, the ergos on the knife feel, feel really good. And it is in 14C28N, so we've got a good blade steel. We've got G10, guys, that reminds me of Spyderco G10. I mean, the texturing on it is very fine, very clean. Um, it looks like we've got T8s all the way around. T8 there. T8 there. T8 on the clip. T8 on the clip. T8 in the pivot. So, bravo, Miguron. Bravo to you. I saw another knife on uh, Amazon that had thumb studs that looked intriguing. Again, I'm not trying to buy budget knives, guys. Not because there's anything at all wrong with budget knives. It's just because I've got my eye on a couple of other things. And I'm trying to, you know, let the, the fun bucket build up before I jump into some of those other things. But I know this is a knife that I think I'm going to enjoy carrying. I'm going to enjoy owning. And one day when I pass it along, somebody's really going to enjoy it. Hopefully, um, as I live with the knife for a while, I'm grabbing a piece of PP Digest. But hopefully as I live with the knife for a while, good, bad, or indifferent, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a full overview of my thoughts on it. And hopefully if you guys are as intrigued with it as I was before I bought it, and as I think I will be now that I've got it in my hand, that's me. That's cutter error, guys. That's me throwing the frickin' finger choil into the paper because I'm not paying attention to what I'm cutting. As long as I'm not cutting my hand. The blade geometry is great, guys. I think it probably needs to be stropped. It would not hurt it at all. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a very, very slicey, slicey knife. You can tell that it has got a thin kind of full drop point from up here, but a three-quarter from right here where your blade stock turns into the grind. And look at that sharpening choil, guys. Look at where that plunge grind. That's a plunge grind done right. Again, if you're going to keep the knife, if you're going to utilize the knife, and the way I look at it, for $50, this Miguron, we're going to call it the 
Moichette till I come up with the actual real name of it. It's perfectly centered. Let's see how big it is, because it is a thicker knife, I will say that. Let's read Grateful Panics calipers. So it's right over a half inch at 0.53. The blade stock is a thin 0.12. Where is my Ben Peterson Napco ruler? Give you guys some quick dimensions. This is not a review, but we'll just do some quickie. It's like three and a quarter on the blade, four and a half roughly on the handle, a little bit less than that. But guys, I can tell you, I'm going to put this knife in my pocket. I'm going to use the shit out of it. And I hope to be able to share with you guys what I think about it. That's the size comparison to what I carry today in my left pocket. It looks like the exact same size as the 9. That is another good start because the 9 is quickly becoming one of my favorites. And that is it besides my first bad decision, which was the traditional pocket knives, Ohio River Jack, in my carta. My first slip joint. Uh, I ordered my second slip joint yesterday, um, not from traditional pocket knives, but I did order the QSP Hedgehog. Um, I went back to traditional pocket knives because I actually love this knife and I knew I would. I don't know why. I don't know why that to me is so pleasing um, for an old clunky knife that I used to be scared of as a kid, but. Yeah, slip joints, I'm going to try not to go deep into the rabbit hole. And I can see right here, one thing that I'll probably mention in the review is I do think this needs to be stropped up good, but the edge bevel looks even. Not crazy about the, the blasted blade, if you'd call it that. Um, but this knife also comes, and when I was on Amazon buying it a couple of days ago, um, it comes with black G10 and a black blade, or it comes with this green G, G, uh, G10 and this stonewash blade. So lately I've been kind of on a black blade um, kick, and for some reason I thought I'd get this blade. Um, but heck, for 50 bucks, guys, this is a great knife. I almost wish I got the black just because of the color. But, yeah, no branding on it at all. The only mark on this knife is 14C28N. Um, what's it say on the backspacer? Nothing. I'm looking through a camera, guys, so I apologize. I'm getting weird uh, ghosting. But it does have weight relief. I don't know if you guys can see that through the camera. But it's got great weight relief behind those scales. Those liners are, they've put weight relief kind of wherever they could. See that? Nicely done. Um, and again, guys, I'm assuming it's on bearings. I've not touched it. It just came out of the box. Came out of the box centered. Came out of the box with zero side to side. Zero rock. Looks like it's got 30, 35%. Lock up since spine whacking's the thing. I know we just do that on button locks, but I was kind of being obnoxious. But guys, I am stoked for a budget knife, and I want to thank Lefty EDC for taking time to amuse me in his truck while he unboxed it and he ran it and raved about it. And it's kind of like the old life commercials. You guys are probably too young for that reference where they show the kid, Mikey, who hated everything. If he ate it, the cereal, and he liked it, the two older brother and the older brother's buddy were like, oh my God, hey, Mikey, he likes it. And they both grab a bowl because if Mikey likes it, it's got to be good for anybody. Well, 
the way I look at detents and discerning knife tastes that might not completely parallel mine, but help me make some indications of getting, I've got a lot more tolerance for lighter detents. But when Lefty EDC gushes over it, it did prompt me to go out and try to find this knife, which I did very easily on Amazon. And um, again, I've had experience with Migron through AM8. Um, I guess they're higher in line. I've heard nothing but good things about Migron. Now I'm an owner of a Migron, the, the lower, I guess, budget entry tier. And uh, I'm stoked, guys. I look forward to hanging out with this knife, putting it through its paces, and then giving you guys an update in a week or so, a couple of weeks. And uh, But for right now, my first impressions without something crazy happening which i can't imagine it crazy happening great knife uh, could be you know it's i don't know how many budget knives i'm gonna have in my possession this year um i know i've got a mash pre-ordered and that's going to be three times the price of this not quite three times but uh t8s titanium clip let's see how it goes in and out of pocket Guys, it goes in and po out of pocket very well. I do with titanium clips, give them a little pull when I put it in my pocket. I don't just jam it down. So I give it one of these when I go into my pocket. But then when I pull it out, it comes right out. I like the look of the knife. I think the blade's very neutral, but it's kind of cool looking. Great access. Got the Migaron logo, which is the only branding besides the 14C28N. Um, got a nice G10 backspacer. I think it looks cool closed. Some people might think the blade to handle, you know, is a little different there. If you were going to say anything, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I'm digging the knife. Guys, I appreciate you again. Sorry to ramble. If you would, please hit the subscribe button. Um, it, again, it does help me and hopefully it'll keep you engaged with when I release new content. Most importantly, look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Keep loving your heart. Move forward with debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.